South Australian first home buyers will receive some relief in Thursday's state budget as the government announces reforms to stamp duty. Monique van der Hayden joins us now. Mon, the first home buyers won't pay a cent in stamp duty. That's right, Laura. Not a single dollar will have to be spent by first home buyers on stamp duty, hopefully ever again here in South Australia. And that will kick off as of Friday morning. Now, this is an improvement on what we saw in last year's state budget that saw first home buyers already be exempt from stamp duty over the last 12 months. But that was only for homes up to $600,000. So the government was hoping at the time of last year's budget that this would allow around 3,000 young South Australians to be able to enter the market. But as housing prices have continued to grow over the last year, they found that further reform was needed. So that $600,000 cap has been completely lifted. So the home can cost as much as the buyer would like. This should save first home buyers around $35,000 on the average home here in South Australia. The only catch is still that it has to be a new build, that the buyer must be building the home themselves. The government did explain yesterday they didn't want this exemption to apply to existing properties because it does want to spur further housing development here in South Australia. We estimate over the next four years this will help an additional 1,200 first home buyers. Uh, so it will be a substantial number each year, you know, approximately 300 each year, uh, that will be helping uh, get into the market. And importantly, as the Premier and Will have stressed, uh, making sure that these are new builds, adding to the overall supply and taking some of those uh, price growth pressures off the housing market at the moment. Laura, housing does look likely to be a big focus in tomorrow's budget. The government also announcing yesterday that it's committed over half a billion dollars to building nearly 2,000 homes in Adelaide's western and southern suburbs. And over a third of these will be much needed social and affordable housing. And I did speak with the Treasurer yesterday and he was very tight-lipped on what else is to come in tomorrow's budget, as Treasurers often are. But he did say that he does have a few more surprises up his sleeve, even a few more for housing.